Temperatures you talk about all across the U.S. are soaring this summer, putting millions are near heat alerts, and the heat is also putting one of the world's largest barrier reef ecosystems in Florida at risk of dying. This is due to unprecedented water temperatures for June and July, and this coincides with El Nino, known for warmer waters in the Pacific, but really it's having effects all over the globe. Fox Weather's Brandy Campbell joins us from Miami with more on the impacts. And Brandy, you got a firsthand look of what this is like, and I'm sure this is a bit stunning when you when you bring us the story and you show us what's happening down there. That's right, Craig. The water out there is just simply too hot. And because of that, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has those corals under the highest alert level in parts of the Keys, meaning that they could lose their food source and turn white. That's one of the indicators. So some of them could actually die because of that. So some of these uh, groups out there that's working to help and plant new corals, they're shifting their focus to just help them survive this time. It worries me. I want my oceans to be healthy, man. I want my children to come dive and do this. I want their children to. These tourists and locals came to plant corals with Eye Care, an organization working to restore Florida's reefs with corals grown by Moat Marine Laboratory. This is Alcorn. But a marine heat wave changed their plans. The temperature is beyond the level that the corals can actually tolerate for any long duration. We decided not to put new corals out there and work toward maintaining the corals that are out there to give them a helping hand so that they can survive this in temperature onslaught. They learned how to clean up the reef and then we geared up for the mission. Corals begin bleaching at 87 degrees, losing symbiotic algae living inside them. The coral loses its color and main food source, starving. Noah tells me the reefs have been in 88 to 90 degree water since June. It's unprecedented as those temperatures usually start in August. So this marine heat wave could last months. They claim victory in rocky top reefs. My dive computer showing 89 degrees at one point. An eye opener, but divers still enjoyed the mission. Uh, it was so much fun. It was so silly watching all the fish get so upset over our toothbrushes. And so you can see you know, when they're really thriving and then when they're not. When they're now corals can stay alive for weeks and regain its symbiotic algae if the water cools down soon. So some are rooting for a hurricane. Because a storm will take deep water, bring it up to the surface, and instantly cool the water by three, four degrees, just like that, giving those corals a reprieve and literally resetting the clock. It could pose major threats to land, but without reefs, we have less protection. When those storms come through and when those large, like, waves come through, we're actually seeing a lot smaller waves and a lot less impact than we would without our reefs. I can only imagine if we lose our coral reef ecosystem, what that would mean to local economies here and elsewhere. It's devastating. We're not throwing in the towel. We are going to keep on keeping on because it's too important. All right. Such an amazing dive to go see those corals, but it's sad to see what could happen to them if the water doesn't cool off. Mike with Key Dives, he did tell me they are using this as an opportunity to study the corals in these conditions and see which ones make it. And they'll keep those in mind when they do eventually get to restart their restoration efforts in planting more reefs or corals, I should say. Back to you. Uh, Fox Weather's Brandy Campbell, what a story. Thanks for sharing that with us and we appreciate it live from Miami, Florida this morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.